Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games, and today we'll be looking at old school Super Mario Bros. glitches and tricks. I'm going to be showing some of my favorites. Let's go ahead and get started. First up, we have the Little Fire Mario glitch. This allows us to throw fireballs as Little Mario. It's not too hard to do. All you have to do is make it to Bowser at the end of a level and be Super Mario. Wait in the corner here by the axe. Jump in the air and get perfect timing, land on his head and the axe at the same time. It'd be a little tricky once you get the timing, it's not too bad. If done correctly, you'll be flashing like so. And on your next level, when you find your first mushroom you collect it, you'll turn into small Mario. That's the key that things are going well. Once you find a fire flower and collect it, you can now throw fireballs as little Mario. He also glitches out a bit when you throw them. Definitely looks really neat. It has its advantages. Probably one of my favorite glitches in the game. Next up is Warp Vine. This allows us to step on a vine block and teleport to the other side of the screen. Set up for this one is easy. Find a vine block, hit it, make the screen scroll right far enough where you only see about half the block. Run up and jump on that block, and holy smokes, we hop to the other side. Ooh yeah, that's definitely pretty cool. Next up we have Bullet Bill Trampoline. This allows Mario to jump up and down on a bullet bill that is almost motionless. Head to World 6-3 for this one. Make your way through the level like so. Once you see these two lifts, you're getting really close. Jump down here to this particular little tree platform. I like facing left to do this. Eventually just jumping on a bullet bill will trigger it. I don't know why it happens, but it's very cool. As you jump on the bullet bill, you'll get this weird white line behind Mario, and it'll slowly push him more and more into the ground. Eventually mine got stuck on the ground, and even fell down. Pretty weird, but pretty cool. Pop. Next up we have the double jump. This allows Mario to make a second jump mid-air. This one's all about timing, right before you hit the mushroom hit jump again, and if done correctly, pop! You get to jump a second time. Double jump in Mario. Jump, jump again. Done correctly, you can jump even higher. Yeah, it's -a me, a double jump of Mario. Next up we have Walk In Enemies. With this glitch, we can actually hang out with our pals and walk side by side. To do this, you just have to walk into an enemy as Big Mario, and then once you get hit, just stay in their hitbox. Eventually you won't even be flashing, and you can walk side by side by your new buddy. Just make sure you stay in the hitbox. Yeah, it's my Goomba buddy, we can walk side by side. All right, we need to talk about it. World negative one. A lot of people know this one, but we're gonna go over it because it's one of my favorites. Head right on World 1-2 all the way through the level. Once you get here near the end of the level where the warp zones are, we're gonna wanna crouch on this pipe and jump. So you do a little jump crouch to the right. Once you hit the sweet spot, you'll teleport through the wall. Three pipes are still here, but you're best just to stay to the left of the screen here and enter the first pipe. Once you do so, ta-da, it's world negative one. Now you can swim in this blue abyss for years to come because the level never ends. Well, I guess when time runs out, it ends, but enjoy it while you can and swim, swim, swim. Next up, we have Tight Squeeze. This allows Mario to get stuck in the wall. And if he's Big Mario, he can bounce on through and get up above the level. All we need to do is make a single block gap, get the screen to scroll to the right just enough to where Mario gets stuck, and then we can jump our way through to the top. Skip the level, very cool. This also will work in a fortress level, if you get stuck like so, just kind of wiggle around, do some duck jumps, whatever you gotta do. Eventually you'll find the sweet spot and you'll go sliding through the wall. And you really will slide, sometimes uncontrollably. Then you can jump to the top of the level, run, 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 skip everything and jump on the axe and finish the level. Or you can soft lock yourself forever. Well, at least Bowser can't kill you. Next we have the portal mushroom where we can run, leap into the sky and grab a mushroom that's actually falling off the level. Just try to line it up and assume the mushroom's gonna fall from the sky, though it actually isn't, and you will collect it. It's a nice little trick and a fun move to do. Next, we have the Koopa Flagpole Hop. This allows us to jump off of a glitched Koopa Troopa to make it over the flagpole. Set this one up, wait for a Koopa Troopa to head to a cliff. When he's gonna fall off, jump up and like the portal mushroom, jump to the corner. If done correctly, you'll hit the turtle shell. Eventually he'll wake up and start walking again, but when he does, he's glitched into the bottom row of ground down there. Now just follow him along as you go through the rest of the level. 
Once you get here at the end, keep a close eye on the Koopa Troopa. Once he's about halfway through the hill in the background, we're gonna run and jump as high as we can. Done correctly, you'll bounce off of him and you'll end up by the castle. There's a little hidden block here that you can't walk through. And now we can run right forever. It's a me, a never ending Mario. All right, so if you do this glitch just right, you can keep the flagpole in the screen. If you do so, you can do a little dance by the castle like so, and then jump on the flagpole. The dance, of course, is optional. Next up, we have Dying Victory. This is a lot like the little Fire Mario glitch. This time, we just have to make it to Bowser, sneak by him, wait in the corner, jump, and then once again, land on the Axe and Bowser at the same time. Bowser falls in the lava, Mario falls in the lava, and Toad says, thank you, Mario, but our princess is in another castle, and you're dead. However, we're not dead. We actually finished the level still. So it's just kind of a fun little trick, a silly way to beat Bowser. The one-up trick we had to put in here is probably one of the most well-known tricks of Mario, but it's such an awesome one and one of my favorites. In World 1 3, when these Koopa Troopas are coming down, we'll knock one out of the way and jump on the other. If you can get a shell to be about halfway off one of the bricks like so, you're set up and ready to go. This one's really precise. I like the face left when I do it. Hop just into the right spot. And once you make it bounce like that, you know you're getting really close. And then eventually he'll just keep bouncing. Keep at it. Once you hit that sweet spot, you'll start collecting those sweet one-ups over and over and over again. Next up, we have the mushroom block drop. A little tricky to do, but very rewarding and cool looking. So what we do here is we run up, hit a Koopa Troopa, and then we hit his shell right when a mushroom's passing it. He'll slide down through the block and let Mario collect it. Very stylish moves, Mario. It's a me, a Dodge Goomba. Next up, we have Water Wall Soft Lock. A really fun glitch where you get stuck in a wall forever and you can do absolutely nothing. All we have to do is get to the end of World 2 2. Once we do, go down here to the bottom and do a little dance. Squats definitely help. Bang our head on the ceiling. Eventually, our head will go through the ceiling here. Then we'll swim up here above the pipe and get trapped in the ground forever. We can throw fireballs, we can dance. It's really non-stop fun. It never gets boring. You never have to reset the game. Some of that might've been a lie. Let's move on to Goomba to Shell. Hit a Goomba and he turns into a green turtle shell. To be quick, hit a Goomba, run to the left, hit the other Goomba. There it is, green shell. Nice. If you don't let the mushroom out, it'll actually turn into a red shell. Works great on World 1 1. Perfect place to try it out. Bam! Red shell. Weird. Alright, that's some of my favorite glitches from Super Mario Bros. 1. Be sure to leave some of your favorites in the comments below. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you around. <laughs>